We wanted to share with you some of the great things happening at Seattle Colleges. This is a place that transforms lives. You'll see what I mean after watching some stories we've put together in a program we're calling at Seattle Colleges. I hope you're enjoying your summer so far. I'm Sean Penn, Chancellor of Seattle Colleges. Today we've decided to do something different. Normally we take just one minute to share with you updates about exciting things happening at Seattle Colleges. Today, we're gonna to take a few more minutes of your time to share with you what our students are saying about their experiences here. We always love hearing from our students we wanted you to hear from them as well. I feel like a sense of community. And everybody is like welcoming, trying to help you, especially like the teachers. Yeah, this is, yeah, been the best few years of my life, I think. Seattle colleges, in my opinion, integrate very well with the community. Uh, no matter what part of Seattle is in North Seattle, South Seattle, Central Seattle, downtown, uptown, not only do they, they make themselves part of the community, uh, they make people feel important. I'll give you a perfect example. A few weeks ago, last quarter, I was sitting looking confused in the class, so much so that a teacher actually, instructor stopped and said, you look confused. How can I help you? I see instructors from past classes that remember you and stop in the hallway and say, how's it going? Are you getting what you need? So that for me is a home run. Students can get the same education or just as good as an education as going to a full-time university for like a fraction of the cost. That rate helps out, gives people an option to do something they thought that was not reachable. I want to build beautiful houses. I think this college is preparing me because it's giving me options of all these different classes I can take that help me figure out exactly what I want to do. Like I got to take a psychology of gender class and I feel like at a lot of universities that wouldn't even be an option. Oh, I'm learning how to wire, how to split wire, how to run into studs, uh, wind wires together to make a switch or a plug, a light. Learn how to do a lot of things. Yesterday I learned about like racism and like a workplace um, and I learned like the different amendments um, like Title 7 and like the different categories of race and stuff. Well, we're learning like standards on stud space, spacings and we're also learning on how to read blueprints, how to use lasers so we we'll be exact on measurements and all that stuff. And I'm learning how to install stuff like drywall and uh, windows and like that. <laughs> uh, right now, uh, I'm working on starting a startup defense company uh, for aerospace. If we're all learning and growing together in a, in a safe and awesome environment, then uh, we'll all go out into our community and be productive members and, and be able to be nurses or whatever, electricians or whatever, a psychologist or whatever you want to be. Right now, I don't really know what I want for my future. I just want to know I want to get ahead in my future. Most of the professors here are really good with helping you uh, get on track to who you are. And I feel like it's a great place to head out. And I talked to a lot of my friends from my old job and told them that, you know, if you're looking to go back to school, there's no better time than now. That's one of the things I love about this school is that there's people just from all ages, all, all over the world, um, people who are um, just starting out, people who are coming back to school, people who are learning English or um, learning other languages, learning skills that will bring them into the future. Father, son? Father, son, yep. yeah, that's right. Um, why don't you tell them, starting with uh, Chief Self and your running start? Oh, well, Chief Self, uh, junior year, um, we decided running start was the option for me, and uh, I signed up for South Seattle, 
um, passed the compass test and am working on my associates along with graduating high school. Right, and I am a returning, uh, sort of a career change person. Um, and I've always had an interest in the sciences. And so I thought that um, since I had gone here before, that South would be a good place to sort of pursue that and help me get on my path. Everybody wants to support you. Everybody wants you to succeed. And just coming to a place where you feel that sense of community and you feel that sense of passion, you just, you really want to succeed. Uh, well, the reality is like I work, I, came, I come to school every day uh, and at the same time you have to study. I come all the way out here from Tacoma so I travel quite a ways to get what I'm getting here. What I love about North is it's really close to my home in Ballard. It's a quick bus ride. Absolutely do it. If you want to do it just to like learn a new skill, gain some broader knowledge about the world or just as a stepping stone to a higher, higher education. I would say, yeah, go for it. I mean, why not? If, you, if you're on the fence about really what you want to do, then this is a good way to figure it out. To enjoy, enjoy yourself, be prepared to learn, and don't be afraid to ask questions. The program here is, I mean, I'd even venture to go towards perfect. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a place to learn. Uh, I've learned a lot here. A fantastic school, and I'd like to thank all, all the instructors who have um, had the burden of dealing with me for the past year I've been going here. Thank you for, I don't know, 50 years. That's quite a lot. Um, it's, it's almost older than my parents. It's a health century, so it's pretty cool. Thanks for all the um, professors all the like advisors, everyone else who comes and helps out. I would say thank you for providing a, a campus that's you know warm and inviting and, and affords us not only an education but somewhere we can grow as individuals as well. A lot of the professors have really helped me out and I really appreciate this college and I'm happy it's been here 50 years. Hopefully it'll be 100 one day. The video you just saw is a testament to the great work being done at Seattle Colleges. I want you to thank our students for sharing their hopes and dreams with us. Congratulations to those who graduated from Seattle Colleges and for those returning students. I hope to see you around campus.
There's definitely a movement to professionalize the field as we're seeing all these policy changes through Head Start, through um, ECAP, looking at the Seattle Preschool Program, that you need a bachelor's degree to be a lead teacher. Head Start standards are increasing. The federal government is moving those up pretty aggressively. The state of Washington and ECAP is on the same path. Uh, the city of Seattle is a little ways out front on that, but we like to lead the way on these issues. And we need to build up the teacher workforce for preschool. So over the next five or ten years, we, we are going to need thousands of preschool teachers who meet these high standards of quality. The National Association for the Education of Young Children strongly recommends that lead teachers have a bachelor's degree and um, a recent report on the state of the workforce was echoing the same thing. Um, higher educated teachers produce better child outcomes. Early learning matters. Uh, all the research shows that students, if they're able to get to the level of their reading comprehension level by third grade, they're most likely going to be on track to graduate high school. Kids that are in high quality preschool far outperform their peers who are uh, in childcare or other types of preschool that don't have those quality standards. All the evidence is clear that having credentialed teachers in that classroom who are prepared to work with those kids is really a key component of quality. And as a result, the kids get a better education. Students were looking into their options and there weren't a lot of them for the graduates of the associates programs at two-year colleges. So most of our students got their associate's degree at um, a professional or technical college and programs um, at local universities don't accept all of those credits. So they would end up having to retake a lot of child development in a lot of other early learning classes. There are other early learning programs out there that are going to be a little bit more time consuming, um, especially for certification where you'd have to do a teaching residency and you'd have to leave your place of employment with no guarantee that you would actually come back. To see myself to go to school for four or five more years, then they can be like six years old in school. Not that I think it's bad, it is good, but I also have other things that I, maybe I will be able to do it in that period of time. The Universal Preschool, Seattle Preschool Program, has a need for highly qualified teachers. And we found that there are a lot of great teachers out there that just don't have access to a bachelor's degree to continue their education. So we developed this program in part to meet the need for these specific students and many other students who are in a similar place. So we're able to have students move into that baccalaureate degree at a high quality, low cost place that, as North Seattle College is. And this program was built specifically around those degrees so students have a very clear pathway without having to um, lose any credits that they've taken. The program is really designed for um, early childhood professionals. Part of that design you see is in the evening programs and the fact that it's hybrid, so students are able to come here after work. They don't have to miss work if they don't have release time. And um, we try to make it as affordable as possible. Um, the other programs that they have access to, there are some really great online programs, but um, they're extremely cost prohibitive. In my working career, I discovered how much I loved early learning and decided that I wanted to uh, get better at that. And if I wanted to stay in that field and be relevant, I needed to get some more education. And so this opportunity came around and it was perfect. It was, it fit working people and there was some funding for it and it was what I wanted to be doing. I have my AAS in early childhood education and I've been doing this work for about 16 years now. And it is my life's work, it's my passion, it's what I love to do. When the um, program at North became available, when I first learned about it, it sounded like a program that would suit 
my needs with my working schedule, the fact that I'm a mom. This is a good fit. This is a good fit. This amount of time that we spend in classroom is, you know, it's perfect. It's not every day thing. Also, um, you know, helping me out with my other, you know, work. So the program is an applied bachelor's degree in early childhood education. It is two years of classes. Um, we are anticipating that for some students it might turn into three because it's two years of full-time work and that's 15 credits a quarter, which can be a lot. It's a very rigorous program and the fact that it's located so centrally is really important to many of the people. The majority of our students work in the field and those who don't currently work in the field are volunteering in the field. It will be very good for all the teachers if you'll be able to just go back to school in that amount of time and get a degree and be successful at the work. The instructor for the program, Dr. Dolan, is brilliant and has taken so much time and care to put the program together and can translate deep research in the subject into the most usable, practical information uh, that we can apply immediately. Um, and the work is hard and the work is rigorous, but it's very applicable. There's nothing that I'm learning that I'm thinking, I'll never use this. I bring it back every day thinking, how will this work? How will this be part of my day? And it always is. Now I have that knowledge and it just makes me stronger as a teacher. And then I'm able to pass that on to my students and my families and make them stronger as little learners. We're really hoping that the work that we have put into developing our curriculum can be used by other programs who are looking to develop a similar program so they don't have to invest the time and resources to start from scratch. And that's why programs like what you're offering at Seattle Colleges and others are doing are so critical uh, to the success uh, of this effort. It's really inspiring to see how they're, how they're using this, how they show up. The fact that they have been in the field, many of them, for so long. And one of our applicants, um, I really like this quote, she said she'd been waiting for 20 years for this. I think we have the best intern program in the uh, system right now. Certainly uh, the most successful. What I'm looking forward to with the Delta internship is learning as much hands-on experience as I can. Intern with Delta was like the icing on the cake. Delta internship is a very cool thing and kind of the only thing like it. So they, they learn a lot of all-around skills while they're going through the program. Instructors here are really experienced instructors. We definitely like teach a lot of technical skills while in the classroom, but outside the classroom they get a lot of other training to, to get prepared to finding jobs and making sure that they know how to, how to keep that job after they find it. This is the first program that actually had an internship with Delta. It's a huge deal for the program and we always strive to be the the best program in the, in, the, in the country. Creating the next generation of line maintenance technicians is something that is very germane to our uh, industry. In fact, Delta is uniquely set up to do this. The opportunity we give these students is awesome. But when you come here after class and actually work with the mechanics uh, for half the night, then you really get to see what, what they actually do and what the job really is. I don't know anywhere else where you could get a lot of exposure to all the different areas of uh, line maintenance in a real short amount of time. So, And we would do things like moving the wings, moving flight controls, uh, changing tires, doing blade loops, taking the fan blades out and moving them, and all sorts of things. And uh, it was quite interesting and it grasped my attention very quickly and I realized this is what I want to do. They give you the sense that you're a part of the family while you're there. And it's a really good feeling. 
master switch on. Ready to roll. Uh, the school was very good at giving us opportunity to find out about the industry and through the uh, our, a school club, the Association for Women in Aviation Maintenance, we brought in a lot of guest speakers and brought in folks like Mike Hagler from Delta. And it was a great experience. The mechanics treated me really well and did everything they could to expose me to the whole gamut of aircraft maintenance. The internship program just threw me right out there in the field and I found that I was right where I wanted to be. It is really difficult to get your foot in the door. Um, I know that students that have gone through this program, um, even though maybe they've gotten done with the program and Delta wasn't hiring at the time, they immediately got employed. And that is why you should come to South. I mean, you're not going to get a better opportunity elsewhere. Oh, I, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. It's been nothing but great. Uh, South Seattle is definitely the place to go because they give you all the opportunities and all the tools to get to these jobs that, that pay well. Because if you know how to code, you know how to code. And in the, in teaching their language to a programmer isn't particularly that hard. It's a little different than uh, other degrees because it's more practical related than theoretical. It's a piece of software that runs now on a, on a mobile device uh, that can run on a very large computer, run on a computer like this, a desktop. So when you look around and you see people selling insurance or, or keeping the lights on with utilities or, or shipping stuff or whatever, how do you leverage information technology to do those types of things? And we teach more of that piece than how computers actually work. The BAS programs are normally degree completion, so we require that people come in with, a, with, with either a two-year degree or the equivalent number of units, like 90 uh, quarter units. Uh, so they have to have two years of college before they get in. It was the program here at North Seattle College that really offered me the most for the minimal amount of time investment. Uh, considering that I already had a bachelor's degree, it was very easy to come to this program uh, since it only requires you to spend two years here. So it's very affordable. All the classes are done in the evening uh, from 6 to 8.40. So it's very easy to fit it into your schedule um, if you are working uh, during the day. We have three major areas that we train in. One is in web development, one is in mobile development, and in cloud development. So there's a class on that, and in the next term, the following term, there's what we call practicum. So we're building something for somebody. Um, the curriculum here is very project-centric. So many of the classes that the students are required to take uh, focus around some sort of project that is similar to what you would find working on in the real world. Our program is cohort based, so we only start people in the fall and they travel uh, through all their classes with the same group of people, which makes it a whole lot easier when you start doing group work uh, because you know your, your, your fellow students. Yeah, there's a lot of eagerness that comes out of these students and they just have uh, this gung-ho attitude of like, we're going to build something great. And uh, that's kind of the uh, enthusiasm that also is uh, kind of highlighted in industry hires. We have structured this program in such a way that if I get input from industry saying, you know, you really ought to start looking at this, I put that in the, in the work right away. How the industry evolves gets mimicked, uh, if you will, or, or copied into this curriculum very rapidly. Small class sizes, great instruction, and all the essential skills you need, plus obviously now industry advisors who can help make sure the curriculum is fresh. It's a great thing. There's internships, which is uh, great for people who have little or no professional experience. We also have something called a capstone, which is a project they can do on their own or with one, one or two other people because there's people who work already and can't give up a good paying job to go to a low paying job for an internship. I have had great success with internships in the past and so I was looking forward for the opportunity to become involved um, as an intern working in the industry. Right now I have an internship with T-Mobile and I'm currently working on the e-services team uh, doing some uh, 
work on the customer-facing payment site. But for a lot of people, the internships lead directly to jobs. If not at that place, at some other place because of what they've learned. But a lot of people have went from an internship to a full-time position right afterwards. Apple's here, Google's here, Disney's here, obviously Amazon's here, Microsoft is here. Seattle's kind of the new tech area for the United States. So uh, it just makes more sense to uh, be able to produce people locally. Uh, there's tremendous demand, and usually what I tell people is it's sort of like the expansion of the universe. It's expanding in all directions. So I think the biggest challenge that a lot of people have coming out is really deciding where to focus. What we saw at first were people who were really like into the industry or really into programming, and now we're seeing people who are uh, career changers. People know our students now. And, and people know what they're capable of. The, the idea is, can I get a job that makes really good money? And our students are, are getting jobs that are in the $70,000, $80,000 range after they graduate. Incredible. I feel more personally fulfilled in what I'm doing now. Um, obviously, you know, this is an in-demand industry and it's no secret that it pays well. My quality of life has <laughs> increased substantially. Um, and beyond that, it's been a wonderful thing for my family. The industry says is if you can code, that's what matters. It doesn't matter so much where you got your degree from, it's what you know and the skills that are taught here are top notch. We hope you enjoyed learning about some of the great things happening at Seattle Colleges. Until next time, I'm John Sharifi.